they say in those videos, we have come to the Pacific Rim, the Ring of Fire. Then there's the... Definitely. There's a good shot of nature winning. The battle between wow. Another hour of daylight. Okay, we got Dennis and Tweeta Roy down in the lower right corner. Two fountains. Cascades of lava going into the caldera, as well as looks like rootless flows congealing and going on the out, outside of the caldera and down the slopes a little bit over. You can see them over here.
taking a sample. Ready. Dr. Geist is here to attempt the sample. You're gonna have to stay low. Beyond the crest so you don't get the heat wave and then get as close as you can. Should I tie this to me in case you get stuck on a rock or something? No. <laughs> You might have to you might have to cowboy it with the lasso it.
Here's the lava channel down in the area that we sampled last night. Right in this vicinity here. Zooming in, this is about where we sampled last night in through this section. Panning across, you see all the various levees and overflows and area in particular. You can see the various stages. Pahoy hoy, lighter pahoy hoy, darker pahoy hoy, and then ah uh, all up around the channel. Right below us, these ridges. This is all part of the early eruptive fissure from the initial day or so of activity. And then moving around, you see the channel that last night was flowing half full of lava shooting sort of through there. And here's the cone. Current lava lake. I'll hike up in a minute and see it get a little view, higher view. But, guys, but five days. caldera floor on the margins. Again, there. You guys freelance in here? Hey Terry, can you switch me over today? 